Hi friends, I'm Pat of Pat's Home Craft. Thanks so much for stopping by. I've been working on several DIYs and I'm excited to share them with you. There are so many cute items that are out there in store. DIYing or doing it yourself is a great alternative to decorating with the things that you love. And I hope that you love what I've created for you today. Let's get right into it. I found this beautiful antique looking mirror on Pinterest and it was posted by a blissful nest and I wanted to recreate this. So I'm going to use several thrifted or Dollar Tree items that will help me to achieve this look. I'm taking these four Dollar Tree signs and I'm simply placing three coats of Waverly's chalk paint in white. I am coating each one of them, making sure that none of the lettering or the designs are visible. I'd like to take this time to talk to you about the challenge that I am participating in today. In the Chic for Cheap Challenge, we're asked to create something stylish for our home and make it cheap. Our host is Christy of Christy Creates, and our co-host is Leon Epp of DIY Beauty on Purpose. The playlist and host links are in the description box. Now I'm taking this miter box with saw that I've never used before. I'm going to saw two of my Dollar Tree signs. I've measured out what I will need and so I'm just cutting them down. I'm attaching two together with my quick adhesive glue and then I will attach the other two and in order to conceal the cracks or the seams between the two pieces for each each uh, single piece I'm going to use some joint compound I'm simply getting a small amount on my fingertip and just pressing it in and trying to smooth it out as much as possible. I'm going to let these dry completely. It took about a little less than an hour. Once completely dry, I'm going to take a medium grit sanding sponge from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to sand down, just smooth out the joint compound that was left over. And now I'm going to wipe all the residue of the sanding off. And in order to completely conceal this, I'm also going to place a coat of white chalk paint once again. And it's okay that it's not a perfectly concealed seam. For embellishments, I'm going to take this Dollar Tree mirror and with my blade, I'm going to cut out each one of these fleur-de-lis type shapes and I'm going to cut all the way around the mirror first. They are all joined up at each curved portion so I'm going to remove each one of them first by just cutting them away from the mirror. It was not too terribly hard to do so as long as my blade was sharp enough and now I'm going to cut them between each curved point 
and I will be left with four pieces. If you haven't done so already and you don't want to miss another one of my videos, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click on that notification bell and select all so that you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. And now I'm just going to cut off any of the jagged pieces that were left over. And I'm going to paint each one of these with another three coats also from the white chalk paint. And I'm just making sure to get down into every one of those grooves. And I'm not going to show the entire painting of all of these. I just want to show you basically um, what I started out to do. This is a mirror that I thrifted for $3.99. And I'm going to place three coats also of Waverly white chalk paint after I have placed some tape along the mirror so as not to get paint on the mirror. After I'm done with that, I am going to attach one section of the signs on the top portion and the bottom portion with my quick adhesive glue and some hot glue. I did glue the upper portion. I did have to apply some pressure, but it did work. And now I'm measuring my center point. I'm using my quick adhesive also on the edges of my embellishment for the bottom portion. And after centering the piece, in order to ensure that it does stick completely, I am placing some heavy books. And now I'm going to plan out and place the embellishments for the top portion. I did not create or recreate the embellishment for the original piece exactly. I wanted it to be with my own touch and so I did not completely copy the design. Here I'm just simply using my quick adhesive. I love this glue because it does adhere very quickly. And all my pieces have pretty much dried and you can see the beginning of the shape to my mirror. Now I am taking some mineral in the Waverly chalk paint and I am going to start the distressing portion of my mirror. I've chosen a color that is very similar to the Pinterest inspired mirror and I'm just using basically the pattern that was followed or that exists on the actual Pinterest mirror. And I'm just using a thinner brush to have more control. And here I am taking my mineral chalk paint with a small amount of water I have watered the paint down so as to make a much more fluid and not so harsh application of the distressed look. I am removing all the tape the mirror. I am now going to go back with the paint still somewhat wet and I'm using white chalk paint to simply go back over all the distressed areas and softening it further. 
I am not completely painting over the distressed areas, but I am adding some white to blend it out. Adding the white helps to soften the distressed look, make it more muted, and then it will add a third layer to the distressed look. Now, there is a very visible gap between the signs, so I'm going to take this silicone that I purchased at Walmart. I did make sure that the silicone was white and not clear, and I'm just going to put a bead of it between the sign and the mirror, and then just run my finger across the bead. It was very simple to use and was dry within 30 minutes. I am going to do the same to the bottom section of the mirror also. It also gave a very chalky appearance which added to the distressed look of the, of the mirror. And here is the Pinterest mirror that was my inspiration. And here is my version of the mirror and I'm very proud of it because I believe that it's very beautiful, it's, it achieved the look and it had my own personal spin to it. I'm not sure how much that mirror cost but I'm sure it was not very cheap. My mirror cost approximately nine dollars to create not including my paint and my glue supplies hopefully you think that my mirror was just as pretty or prettier than the original my mirror is so beautiful and only a fraction of the cost it is exactly what I wanted. I am so glad that I attempted this. I saw the small round mirror at Dollar Tree. I knew that I had to incorporate these scrolls into some DIY because I loved the way they looked. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did because I sincerely enjoyed creating this mirror. If you like this video, please leave me a big thumbs up like and I'd love to hear your thoughts and your comments as to how you thought my mirror turned out or if you have any ideas for a similar project in the future. Please be sure to check out the playlist link, check out Christy Creates channel and DIY Beauty on Purpose channel. They are both down in the description box also. Remember to always look around you for the beauty in your life. It's right there waiting for you. Until the next video, have a great day.